we're so excited to be here with you this morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jamie. And I'm Angus. And welcome to St Mary's Kids Church. We are here for another week, getting ready to worship Jesus. We're going to spend some time learning from a story in the Bible. We're going to make some stuff using a craft, pray together, play a game. But first, we're going to start with a song of worship. So get ready to do the actions. Let's go. Okay, let's sing together. This is called One Way. Okay, I lay my life down at your feet. I lay my life down at your feet. Cause you're the only one I need. I turn to you and you are always there. Troubled times, it's you I seek. I put you first, that's all I need. I humble all I am, all to you. One way, one way, Jesus, you're the only one that I can live for. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I can live for. You're always there, you are always, always there. Every how and everywhere, your grace abounds so deeply within me. You will never ever change, yesterday, today the same. Forever till forever meets no end. One way, one way, Jesus, you're the only one that I could live for. One way. Jesus, you're the only one that I could live for. Cause you are the way, the truth, and the life. We live by faith, and not by sight for you. We're living all for you. You are the way, the truth, and the life. We live by faith, and not by sight for you. We're living all for you. You're the way, cause you are the way, the truth and the life. We live by faith and not by sight for you. We're living all for you. Here we go. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I could live for. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I... Sing it again, one way, one way. Jesus, you're the only one that I can live for. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I can live for. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh, it's so good to worship. It's so fun to do the actions. I love that song. So, we're going to play a game now. Who's yes. ready for a game? Yeah! So, this week we're going to play a game of Find Me. So, we've got some things that we're going to find, and okay. we're going to find them as fast as we can, and then pile them all together at the end. Are we okay. ready? Who can find them the fastest? Okay. Okay, so, the first thing you have to find is a hat. A hat. Okay. Run! Who can find a hat? Ooh. Who can do it the fastest? Oh, oh okay. that was very fast. Found okay. a hat. So we've got a hat. So our next thing is going to be a blanket. Blanket. Uh, where do we go for a blanket? Um, where should a blanket, blanket be? Blanket. Here! Oh, I've got one. Okay, good. Okay, let's see if we can do it even okay. faster this time. Who's found things? Okay. Put the blanket there. Let's find a remote. Remote. Um, maybe. Where could one be? Who's got the remote? Wow, that was so fast. Okay. okay. This time we're going to find a cushion. Cushion. Who can find a cushion the fastest? Uh, there must be one near you somewhere. Yes. Woo. Yes. Oh. Cushion. I think that was my quickest one yet. Okay. Very cool. I want Jamie to find some stuff. Right. Can we find uh, a pen? <gasps> a pen. A pen. Um, uh, Maybe there's an office you need to go to, finding a pen. I've got one. Okay, okay, right, straight on to the next thing. Find me a Bible. Uh, Bible. Who's got a Bible, Bible, copy of the Bible, or a Bible storybook? 
Bring it down wherever you are. I found one. Oh, right, okay. I think that was really Okay, um, now we need one more thing uh, which we need you to find and, and it might be a little bit more tricky, but I need, Jamie, I need you to find, and, and you guys also do, do this, we need you to find some building blocks or Lego, okay? okay. So, does anyone have any Lego or Playmobil building blocks? We're gonna use those, so find me that, go! Ah. Okay. I love playing with those, it's great fun. So we've got our cushion, we've got our hat, we've got our remote, we've got our pen, our bible, we've got our blanket, and... Found some! We have some building blocks, okay, Ooh. great. Okay, now, we're gonna use those, we're gonna use those building blocks later on in our time together. Don't start playing with them now, okay? I know it's really tempting, don't start playing with them now. But everything else apart from the Lego, the building blocks, you need to go and tidy away, okay? So put it back wherever you found it, pause the video, and we're gonna tidy ours away too. Look at that. Make sure you tidy up after yourself. <laughs> very important. You'll be very popular with those who look after you, brothers and sisters. You stay tidy as if by magic. We are completely clean. <laughs> okay, what are we doing next? So next, we are going to recap um, the story of Noah, which we spent the last three weeks learning about. I hope nice. you guys have enjoyed learning about Noah. Yeah. Um, so what have we learned? So we've learned that Noah listened. Noah listened. Noah obeyed. Noah obeyed. And then Noah trusted God throughout the whole time. Okay, so he listened, he obeyed, and he trusted God. Yeah. Okay. And it's it's so important that we ourselves, we do all three, and yeah. we listen to God, we do what he says, and most importantly, we trust him because he loves us and we love him, and we can trust him every day with everything because he's God, and that's so important that we remember that. Yes. Nice. Yeah. So what else are we thinking about today? So today we're going to be thinking about um, what that means when we do all three of those things and it, it builds up our relationship with God. So we're going to talk about how we can come as close to God as we possibly can um, and how we can get close to him every day. Nice. So we're talking about building a relationship with God. Building up a relationship, yeah. So like I can have a relationship like a friendship with God. Yeah, isn't that so cool? And that this is how we build it. We do the, we listen and we obey and trust, and that's that builds the relationship. Yeah. Nice. It's cool, okay. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so what happens next when we listen, obey, and we trust? What happens afterwards? So when we do all these things, we're building up a relationship with God, like we just said. And every time we do these things, it gets stronger and stronger. Um, so nice. even in the really little everyday things, when we listen and we obey and we trust, we get really close to God and God loves us so much and it makes him so, so, so happy um, when we spend time wanting to come closer and closer to him because he's our father and he wants us to be as close as we can. Nice. Um, and so it's a little bit like building a wall around us. I Don't can do think? that. We've got some Lego. Okay. Right. I've actually got a whole box of, uh, of Lego. And I've got my little, we've got a little person here. Yeah, maybe we should, we should show everyone. We've got a little, little there person is. here, okay. <laughs> okay, so, this is our me. person. This is like me and you, okay? So, we're gonna, okay. So we're gonna build something around him. Like, like this? Can I get some, yeah, get some blocks? Yeah, that looks good, yeah. Like that, yeah. Okay. So you've got like a first layer of a wall going on there. Yeah, yeah. So this could yeah. be a bit like um, when we first ever pray to God and we build a little bit of a wall, um, yeah. or maybe when we listen, and then as we yeah. obey, the wall gets bigger. Yeah, okay, so okay. you can see it's getting, it's getting bigger taller, around the person. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go, and then go a bit when, around the sides as well. When we trust God every day and throughout all the little things that yeah. he's got us and he's gonna take care of us and he loves us. There you go. The wall gets even bigger and it, it's okay. surround it starts to surround this little Lego guy here. Yeah. 
And it's just like our relationship with God. We build it up and we build it up and it surrounds us. And that's such a cool thing because it's something that we can, we can go to and we can feel safe in and we can just be in that space all the time. And yeah. it's, it's just great. I like having a, a relationship with God that makes me feel safe. I think that's great. So we're building these blocks all around you can see this little guy over cool. here, he's loving it. He's just like, yes, I've got more and more things happening. This is great, God is awesome. And he's got, got a beautiful relationship. I, I'll get rid of my box. And God promises to love us always and to always look after us. And so when we start to build up our relationship with God, it makes it easier for him to connect with us as well. And he can come into this little space that we've built with him too. And we can just hang out together and spend time with God. Nice. And he just promises to keep us safe and to look after us. And it's just such, it's such a cool thing to have a relationship with God because he's our father and he's our, he can be our best friend. And it's just like having a relationship with anyone. You know, the more we hang out with our friends, the closer we get to them, the more fun we have. And it's the same yeah. with God. Yeah. So this is like kind of like building a little house, right? You got the little little blocks coming up, and then that, it's like you have a little house, and you can just live with God. Yeah, isn't that cool? That is so cool. Oh, nice, great having a relationship with God. And if we remember, at the end of the flood, God showed Noah and his family a beautiful rainbow in the sky. And that was a sign of a promise that he would never send a flood again. And nice. it says in the Bible, whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant, which means promise, between God and all living creatures. And that's so cool. Um, so that was almost like the first sign that God showed that we could have a relationship with him was the rainbow. And we still see rainbows all the time today, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty rainy today. We might even catch one today. Maybe. And so God shows us things all the time to remind us how loved we are. And so if we keep building up that relationship with him, he'll keep showing us how much he loves us. Isn't that cool? Whenever we see a rainbow, we can, we can remember that God loves us. I love that. That's so cool. Remember, whenever you see a rainbow, you can remember that God loves you. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, well, have fun with your little Lego uh, or building blocks. Maybe you've got some of your own, you might be building them right now. You can keep going with that, build your little house, symbolizing and building up your relationship with God. What else are we gonna, what else are we gonna make, Jane? So now, next up, we've got a craft where we're gonna make our own rainbows to remind us we can stick them up in our rooms or maybe put them on the fridge. And every time we see them, we can be reminded of how much God loves us. Nice. So yeah, it's gonna be very cool. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need for the craft. You're gonna need some scissors and some glue and some colored paper. Or if you don't have any colored paper, you can use normal white paper and just color it in afterwards. It's completely up to you. So, we ready? Amazing, yes. So, we need to draw a so, cloud. This is what we're making. It'd be good to just show you first. Yes. And so it's like a little, yeah. <laughs> so, we're okay. going to get a white bit of paper and we're going to draw a fluffy cloud. First. Okay, so draw your best cloud. Okay, you might want to make it nice and big. Give you room for lots of strips of coloured paper. There you go, we've got our clouds. Okay. And then you're gonna get your scissors and cut them out. Okay. Cut the cloud. Has anyone ever been to the bottom of a rainbow? Ooh. It's mysterious, isn't it? When we see a rainbow and we think, where does it finish? I've never been to the bottom of a rainbow. I think it's, I think it's like, amazing if you were to find it and see what happens when it touches the ground. Maybe it, it doesn't, maybe it's impossible to find. Okay, we've got our clouds. So we've got our clouds, okay. just like this. And so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our colored paper, or if you're using normal paper, that's okay too. Um, and we're gonna cut out some strips so that we've got lots of different strips of colored paper to stick onto our cloud. Okay. So, so we're, I'm going to do, I've put all my bits of paper together and I'm going to cut one line and then I'll have loads of different colours, but you can clever. do them all separately if you prefer. Yeah, oh no, much much quicker to just do it all in one, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. So we've got one, 
bit of each colour of the rainbow. Anyone know how many colours there are in the rainbow? Any guesses? Ooh. I think it's seven. Is that right? I, I don't think, know. I think. I, I'm not sure we have all of them here. I know I don't have any. I don't have any red, for example. I think though it's seven. Okay, but we've got so, a few colours. What we're going to do next is we're going to get our glue and then we're going to do a line across. Um, well, either the bottom or the top, whichever side you want okay. of the cloud. And you shouldn't need a lot of glue for this, so only a little bit. Okay, don't go overboard with the glue. Okay. And then, so we've got our glue, and then we're just going to stick on like that. And then afterwards, we should have all the colours hanging down when it's finished. Ah, okay. We're going to go for yellow next. Blue. Stick your colours in whatever order you want. You might want to have some of the same colour as well. Lots yeah. of strips of paper. Gone for green next. Okay. And I think I'm going to go for this yellow one here. Oh. And right. then, so then, once you've stuck them all on, you should turn it over and it will look like your colours are coming out of the cloud. Almost a bit like it's raining the colours. Yes. <laughs> Raining, colourful rain. I'm going to yeah. cut up some more strips because I have got a, yeah, go a bit it. more space. So as you can see on our original one, we've drawn a little face, so you don't have to do that, but you can if you want. And then we've <laughs> also written something which says God keeps his promises. And we just learnt about that. Um, and we have been learning about that. So it's, it could be a really cool thing to write down and you can decorate them however you want. You could draw some little patterns on each of the strips. Yes. Yeah. Has anyone done a rainbow in their window for uh, the uh, thanking the NHS recently? I know oh, yeah. lots of people did that. Maybe you could stick this one next to that one in your window so you've got different rainbows together. Okay. So, we're going to draw face on the cloud. Yeah, so I've drawn my face and I've written God keeps his promises and then what I think I might do is draw some patterns or something on um, on my strips to make it look even better. Yes, nice. You could even give your cloud a name, maybe like Charlie the Cloud. <laughs> I'm going to say Charlie says God keeps his promises. Yeah, and so we've nice. got a few here. Um, make as many as you want. You can decorate a whole window with these because they're yes. quite pretty, aren't they? Yeah, put one yeah. on your fridge, have one in your bedroom. Yeah. Lots of rainbow reminders. Put them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Hope you enjoyed making that. Remember, you can also do a Lego based Playmobil building block activity too to remind yourself. The most important thing is building a relationship with God and He is. He keeps his promises, like a rainbow. Yeah. Nice. Oh, well, I've really enjoyed making these. I hope that you have as well. Um, and we're going to go into a bit of a time of prayer now. And that's going to include our Lego or building blocks, whatever you've got as well. So get those ready and we'll be back to pray. Amazing. Thanks, Jamie. We are going to pray together. Uh, we love praying and um, it's all about talking to God. We've got some of our Lego blocks ready. Hope you've got some of yours um, to build as part of our prayers. Sometimes we like to do a little bit of an activity to help us to pray. So why don't you grab two blocks, okay? So I'm going to grab this one and this one, okay? Two blocks on your hands and we're going to use uh, these first two to pray for the world and then we're going to stick them together and we're going to keep adding more as we pray for more things, okay? Cool. Nice, so let's pray for the world. Father God, we thank you for your world that you made and we thank you for making us and giving us the world to look after. We pray for leaders and politicians and um, businesses all over the world that we would be able to look after our planet well. And we pray, Lord, for your help in overcoming the coronavirus. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, amen. so we stick these together. Okay, put them down or hold them. And then we're gonna keep adding more and more blocks. 
So I'm going to grab this bit and now we're going to pray for our town and we live in Andover and we love Andover so that's yeah. what we're going to pray for. If you're not from Andover that's a fine hi to you. Hello. Um, <laughs> you can pray for your town as well and um, we're going to pray for this town. So Lord thank you so much for the town that we live in and everything that you do here. Thank you that you are here with us and for all the things that you've provided us with here in this place um, and I just pray that you would bless it and that you would keep coming to it and you would just bless all the people that live here and all the houses and just the whole town Lord I just pray that you would bless it in Jesus name Amen. Amen. So okay. we're going to stack them up again. Okay. It's getting quite Stack's tall getting now. taller. Yeah. Okay. Next uh, we are going to pray for our church. So grab another block, okay, so making our block taller and taller, our, our, our structure taller and taller. I'm going to pray for our church, we're from St Mary's Church in Andover. Again, if you're watching from a different church in Andover or anywhere else, you're so welcome and hi. We are uh, so nice to, uh, so, so glad that you're here with us and um, hope we get to meet you one day if we haven't met you. But we're going to pray for our church, St Mary's, pray for the people and our leaders and for our building which is being worked on at the moment. So let's pray. Lord, I thank you for St Mary's Church in Andover. I thank you for our congregation. I thank you for our families, for all the children and young people in our church, people of all ages. And we just thank you that you're moving in us, that you're giving us your grace every day. We thank you that you've got plans for us and things for us to do. And we pray that you would help us to do that. We pray for our building work going on, that it would all finish up smoothly. And uh, Father, lastly, we ask for your blessing on our leaders. We think of our vicar, Chris, and his wife, Nay, and the other leaders and the whole staff team. We ask for your blessing on them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. So nice. I'm going to get another block, <clears throat> and this time I'm going to pray for our families. Okay. <clears throat> so grab your block. Here we go. Lord, thank you so much um, for each of our families, Lord, for whoever it is that we spend every day with, um, that love us, Lord. Just thank you so much for the people that you've given us and put in our lives. And Lord, thank you that you're our Father too and that you love us so deeply. And Lord, I would just pray that you would bless each of our families and that we'd all have a really great, happy week together. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Oh, mine's okay. really big now. Last one, we're going to pray for ourselves. <coughs> so, grab one more block. We've got plenty here. Maybe grab, a, maybe grab a different one or a bigger one. Okay, let's pray for ourselves. Father, we thank you that, um, as Jamie just prayed, that you love us and that you have plans for us and that you have good things for us to do. Um, we want to be able to listen to you, to obey you and to trust in you just like Noah did in um, history in the Bible and like so many other people did and still do. We just ask for your Holy Spirit's help to help us to do that and that we would be able to um, give you glory with our lives. In Jesus name, Amen! Amen! Okay, stick on the last block and you know maybe a few more as well if you, you know. <laughs> keep going. Amazing! Well we love praying and we also love singing songs of worship. So we're going to do that one more time. We're going to sing a song about promises, God's promises. And we've just thought about rainbows and how they're a reminder of God's promises. It talks about that in this song. You might know it already. Let's go. You say you are with me every hour and day, I know it's true. You say you will stay the same for now and always, I know it's true. For every breath and rainbow speaks of faithfulness. For you are God, our Father, you are good to us, good to us. Your promises stand 
It's been so great to see you this morning and lovely to spend time with you. We thank you for coming and uh, we pray for you this week. Have an amazing week. We will see you soon. Bye.